الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Salish Anwar here and welcome to my little man cave. I bet you haven't watched it this way before like a tiny planet but today you can. In this video I'm going to show you the new ISDT P20 smart LiPo battery charger which can charge the other types of batteries like Li-Ion, li high voltage LiPo NICAD NIMH batteries as well. It can also put the batteries to storage or discharge the batteries or you can use it to destroy it means put the batteries to the lowest voltage or zero voltage so you can discard them. So let us take a look at this charger but before that let me tell you I have been using this charger for over a couple of days and the more I use it the more I simply love it why i'm going to describe it right now once we start taking a look at the charger talk about its features and everything else so let us take a look at the charger right there so first off let me just show you the charger itself okay this is the isdt p20 smart charger you have a dc in that means you can power it through a battery or using an xt60 connector on a power supply as a fan uh, outlet for heat of uh, dissipation of heat uh, you have a USB port here now at this side you have sorry let me remove my uh, connectors for small batteries you have an XT60 and a balance port I'm coming to this one moment and then you have an XT60 and balance port right here now on top here we have an LCD screen very nice and bright and the things that I love about the other thing that I love about this charger is up down button and channel 1 channel 2 buttons okay now bottom of the charger you have more uh, inlets for the airflow okay and nothing else to see now the first thing that I love about this charger is this this means uh, the batteries like these which have uh, you know nowadays we have batteries which have very very little connectors uh, short connectors let me try to find one more and here is one more battery which has short connectors now with the ISDD P30 charger which was nice and you know work horse they had the main port right here and you had to like having to have XT30 you have to have a you know kind of converter and you will put it here and after that the balance port was here no matter what you do you will not be able to reach to balance port and that was my problem for the XT uh, sorry P30 uh, ISDT P30 charger but with this charger with this P20 even a longer uh, you know for example this one even a longer connector which I put here I can easily plug my balance port having to have all these short leads not a problem at all you can see both side is very easy to pluggable so this is the first thing that I love about this charger and the second thing I love about this charger are these buttons uh, I hate those touch buttons on the chargers I do not like in particular the touch screens and dials are good and this is super duper good I can tell you that so let me turn on the charger so you can see it now take a look at it the screen is nice and bright and if I want to charge a battery let me show you how easy it is for me to go through all the parameters and set them very very quickly so all you need to do is press and hold this and you can see how easy I can just go and choose what I want okay for example uh, storage voltage like HP lipo lion life uh, I said this is lipo actually it also auto chooses auto detects that condition 3.7 volt I want to put it down to 3.7 volt cells already selected current 1.5 a start that's it so it's just that easy to basically you know go through everything very very fast let's say I want to charge this battery so I'm just gonna 
put it to charge okay lipo 4.2 1.5a i want to put the current down to 0.5a and say start that's it this is how so easy you actually put this charger to work for different tasks that you want to perform and this has been proving itself very reliable and very nice charger so far i have no issues with it it has been charging the batteries indoors and outdoors very well check out these clips of indoor and outdoor charging that i have been using this charger for so i have been using it and charging a lot of batteries recently i thought it's a good idea that i use the charger and test it before i go ahead and review it so this is still in work before i actually take it to that table and start a proper review and talk about it so it's still here charging the batteries because i want to go out and fly my new gap rc crocodile baby long range fpv racing drone okay so i've been charging these batteries and after this is done i'll bring it to the other table and start the review and talk about my findings for this charger now as you can see the left side battery has been charged okay and i can check all the parameters about the battery 4.20 i mean all the cells are properly balanced and this side battery is still charging i can check the cell resistance which is kind of worrying me it's a freeing tattoo battery right here people but look at the resistance values they are worrying me uh what i find uh, about using this charger is really really very easy which i'm going to mention it in the video as well once again the thing that i like about ISTD p20 smart charger is that it's really very easy to use i just simply love these buttons and very very easy and quickly i can just go to any parameters i want and using this instead of dial or instead of any touch sensing button i simply love this button it's very easy to use and using those side buttons you can easily switch to any uh, value that you want you know so it's, it's basically very very easy and very fast for me to go through all the parameters and start charging the batteries or discharging the batteries or use all the battery charging discharging parameters here so yes this is i find very very good and again one more thing that i want to tell you is look how easy it is to connect even with this small i mean short cable leads i know you all hate this thing just like i do having to have this kind of short balance leads and short cables uh, main power cables are very very difficult to attach but this charger can easily attach the shorter cables uh, batteries uh, to balance port and to the main port very very easily and it's really very easy to connect and charge these batteries the other charger that actually stays and i love so much is isdt smart charger that is 608 ac very very easy to connect batteries with its uh, shorter leads and if you excuse the mess this charger is powered by my sky, sky rc extreme psu 1080 watt psu and actually you know getting all the juice to charge all kind of batteries even the big bricks right now i'm outdoors enjoying flying my crocodile baby long range <laughs> long range we'll talk about that in its own review and i'm charging the batteries with the isdd p20 smart charger outdoors using a 3300 milliamp gen s battery i'm charging my gaonang 520 milliamps unfortunately i just have those to test the long range <laughs> that's why i was laughing because these batteries are not to test the long range however i'm able to go one kilometer and back which is very very good outdoors it works very well indoors it works very well it's just absolutely a charming charger and it's gonna stay with me right here welcome back as you can see my batteries is one is still charging one is still discharging okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put it uh, to a stop stop because i have a very small battery which already is going to discharge itself now when you come here you can have multiple views especially when you are charging for example i put it to charge okay lipo da 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 start and once it starts you can see this screen where you can see temperature and other values okay and you can see battery cell resistance and you can see battery cell voltage on each cell 
So these are the different information that you can see and obviously you can also go to the uh, charger settings itself. Pressing and holding both buttons, you come to the advanced uh, charging menu where you have dual tasks. So I'm talking about both channels. So in dual task, you use channel one for one battery, channel two for another type of battery, or like I said just now I did, storage and charge. Then your parallel task, you use both of these channels to charge one single battery. Okay, then you have a DC power channel one, then you have system settings. If I go to the system settings, I have lowest input voltage, max input power, backlight, volume, completion tone, split screen, bad go channel one, bad go channel two, language, theme, keep trickle, self test, channel one calibration, channel two to calibration, system info, and back. Now, in theme, we have bright and dark, which you would appreciate on your eyes at night, especially. So you, you're just going to love that one at night. So let me just put it on dark anyway. In language, you have Dutch, French, uh, Spanish, Chinese, Italian, Russian. I think that is Korean, Arabic. Uh, we have, uh, I believe this is Thai language, Portuguese. I have no idea what language is that. So you have different languages as well here. Okay, see, this is the dark mode. Let me just plug one battery so we can see how the dark mode looks like. There you go. Hmm, nice and beautiful orange looking color. I like it, man, right here. Okay, so. I'm not going to charge these batteries or discharge these batteries now because I have been using this charger in and out. Now indoors, if you look at the right side, I use it with the Sky RC Extreme 1080p, a 1080 watt power supply. And uh, basically, it actually works very, very well. So let me just plug it in right here and show you how it turns on. And there you go. So far, right now, in my house, you will see ISDT 608AC, ISDT P20, and a Sky RC T200. These three chargers are staying with me because they are, they have proven to be one of the best chargers so far. I simply love the new P20. So far, it has never given me any trouble, and it is doing a very, very good job. So, people, this is the ISDT P20 smart charger so far. Yes, according to my current decision, this is going to stay with me just like ISDT 608 has stayed with me. This is going to stay with me right here. And so far, uh, according to my testing, I have been charging it. Uh, I have been charging various type of batteries. I also use it to store and discharge the batteries. And so far, I have no issues at all. So take my words. This is definitely uh, two thumbs up very good product and definitely a keeper. Thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos coming your way very soon. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you are at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.